I'm Dr. Roger, and this question is from the March 2021 USSAT calculator section. They're asking another geometry question. Here we're given two triangles that share an angle at the upper vertex in this picture and share the angle at the right-hand vertex in the picture. And the question is, what statement is needed to prove that these triangles are congruent? We already know they're similar because if two angles are equal, then all three angles are equal. But we need congruent, which means same size also. Choice A, the length of segment EF is 10. That does not help us because it doesn't tell us how that compares to the length of the corresponding segment in the first triangle. So choice A is not our answer. Choice B, the measure of angle EDF is 97 degrees. That does not add any information. We already knew that because the angles of a triangle add up to 180. So that will not prove congruent. Choice C, the length of BC is equal to the length of EF. BC is the side opposite the largest angle. EF is the side opposite the largest angle. If those two are equal, we have angle, side, angle, angle, side, angle being equal for the two triangles, and that is enough to prove congruent. So choice C is the correct answer. Let's take a quick look at choice D. The measure of angle BAC that's this large angle here, is equal to the measure of angle EDF, which is the corresponding large angle. We already knew that. It doesn't add extra information. And knowing the three angles are equal only proves similar triangles. It does not prove congruent. So choice D is not the correct answer. Our answer is C. College Board will often test you on similar triangles. So make sure you've reviewed this topic and come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.